Hey everyone, I'm at the Mitsubishi Electric Train booth here at the AHR Expo in Chicago. I'm with Matt, who's the product manager for basically a CO2 heat pump. Yes, a CO2 heat pump. Uh, commercial size, commercial CO2 heat pump for domestic hot water. And, uh, you know, you had this on display last year, so I think for me, it'd be great to have you kind of explain a bit more the system itself because it's, it's open. And I'll show that in a second. Uh, and then also kind of the market impact, you know? You know, are you selling these, okay? You know, how, what's been the reception? Are you happy with this? Are you getting the response that you were expecting, okay? So bear with us. We're gonna have a little short video and then hopefully you'll get a answer to all those questions. Uh, welcome. So today we have our commercial CO2 domestic hot water heat pump. Uh, we, we brand label it our Heat2O heat pump that's also model named QHV. Uh, and this is a 40 kW product uh, that's rated at minus 13 degrees. 40 F. kilowatt. Yeah, 40 k yeah, kilowatt uh, rated at minus 13 F. Uh, and it can achieve 176 degree water temp uh, leaving to the system. It's specifically geared for domestic hot water only. Uh, and just so I'll go through and kind of break down some of the components of the system and kind of give you an idea of what is all in the heat pump. So. Starting with the most important part is our CO2 compressor. Uh, it is a vapor injection compressor that you'll see we're kind of taking some of the similar technologies that we've brought into our VRF market and bringing it to this domestic hot water market. So uh, same thing, but now running with CO2, so a lot higher pressures. Um, and, and the difference is, is instead of being a condenser, we have a similar gas cooler to traditional CO2 systems in the US and other global markets. So uh, with the gas cooler, it's kind of hard to see here. Uh, but there is actually six internal uh, spiral gas tube gas coolers. And basically it's a water pipe that's got it basically twisted and it has capillary refrigerant tubes wrapped around and braced shut uh, to basically get our best heat transfer most. So uh, it's all about trying to improve the performance, right? Yeah, all, in, all in, in trying to get the highest performance for domestic hot water application. Okay. So with this product, we actually want to give it the highest lift possible. So. We want to see our cold water, 50 degrees, 45 degrees from the city water and bring that right up to our storage temp of 150 degrees, 160 degrees in a single pass through that gas cooler. Right. Uh, and if we do that, that's where we can achieve our really high COPs. So uh, on the highest level, uh, it can achieve COPs of 4.5. Uh, but on average, you know, we've had a lot of jobs so That's out the there. marketing. That's what you yeah, say. That's the, the marketing, that's the marketing uh, average, point. you know, yeah. what, yeah. what we're going to put on paper for, for now. Uh, yeah. There is still not an HI standard for okay. the product. So once there becomes one, then everybody will kind of get that level base of, right. of what the COP is rated at. Um, now you are able to share a little bit of the real life results? Yeah. So we've now had the product out for about two years in specific markets. And, you know, as a system, you know, we also have um, storage tanks and electric kind of swing tank. An electric swing tank will handle the recirculation load in the building right now. Uh, we'll eventually replace that with another multi-pass style heat pump uh, to, to serve that swing tank. Um, but the electric swing tank does you know, hurt our COP a little bit because it's COP of one. Uh, but overall, we're still seeing COPs in the two and a half to three range. Uh, Seasonally adjusted. Season along, um, looking at the whole year. So uh, it really has been impressive to see what we can do uh, you know, compared to others out there and, and being a, a newer product segment to the market, uh, it really is helping us, you know, keep moving upward towards a uh, successful uh, product launch. Okay. And then, so you're talking about like the market introduction. So you've been a little over two years now. So you, you're actually selling these, right? This isn't just some product that you show at a trade show and forget about it until the following year. You're actually selling these. They're in yeah. the market. Yeah. So early on, we wanted to get a little bit of market feedback and just see what people are going to see for challenges, what, how the adoption is, what it's going to take to do different utilities and incentives. Uh, so we rolled it out just to start in the Pacific Northwest. Okay. So basically, it's a good Washington, place to start. Oregon, uh, yep. California, California, and also some of the East Coast markets, New York, Boston, Massachusetts. So uh, what we've done from there is we're going to set up to roll out to the rest of the country. Uh, but in those early uh, markets, we've seen great potential, right? So our West Coast has really been greening uh, the quickest, uh, and we've seen uh, over 75 or so installs in that market. 75. Um, and we see that could be as much as two or 300 this year. Wow. Uh, so we That's do a see growth. a fast growth period, and okay. 
Uh, and some of the things we're doing in the future to you know, maximize the product potential is really, I think, going to let us scale up quicker. Okay. And you've got, like um, you were telling me earlier, that you've got this, uh, you're really proud to be part of a, a net zero hotel. Yeah. You've got three of these units in this hotel, correct? Yeah. So there's a very unique hotel uh, we've been working on. It just completed uh, last year. Um, that is, uh, it was an old uh, uh, manufacturing headquarters uh, located in Connecticut. And uh, what they did is took this old building and converted it from an office building setting to a net zero hotel. So uh, the hotel itself has our standard R2 VRF for the whole comfort, cooling, and heating. Uh, but then we have three of these QHV models in for the domestic hot water. So uh, essentially two serve the hotel rooms. Uh, I think it's uh, several hundred bed hotel rooms. And then uh, the third one uh, serves the restaurant and other market uh, kind of common areas of the building. And, uh, and they're happy? The, yes, they're very happy. Uh, uh, the owner can't talk about it more. He's, right. he's a very good uh, advocate of also not just our products, but also just the idea of being a net zero uh, for a hospitality market is hard to achieve. Uh, yeah. and, and he wants to kind of keep that as a template to keep moving on to other buildings that uh, he's okay. associated with. So. Okay, great.